Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotional Bible studies and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel. If you're new around here, kindly click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you get notified when a new video drops. Okay, so we've been doing the one year Bible study, you know, through um we fire with the book of Psalms. Right now we are on day 14 and we're reading through Psalm 79 all the way to Psalm 25. Now, if you're looking for where the resources are, or the, mater or the materials are, kindly check the description box and that is always, you know, updated from time to time. It will take you to the links where the materials that we're using are. Okay, and then they are free at no cost to you at all. So welcome to day 14, where we are reading again, I said, <laughs> we're reading from Psalm 79 all the way to Psalm 85. In my usual manner, I like to um, put a theme and for today's central discussion, the secret place of thunder. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I love the way that sounds, the secret place of thunder. <laughs> all right. So um, let's start with Psalm 79, where it says, Psalm 79 verse 11 and 13, it, um, let me read that. Let the sign of the prisoner come um, before thee according to thy greatness of thy, of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. We're reading to um, 13. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom, bosom for, okay, their reproach wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. Verse 13 says, so we thy people and the sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Hallelujah. God would always avenge his people. There are times where you feel like, okay, um, when is God going to show up for you? Throughout the Psalms, we see several um, reminders, several nudges, several encouragements where God tells us to, you know what? relax okay i'm going to avenge my people i'm going to i'm going to um, definitely have the necks of your enemies god knows what to do when we feel when we come to that point where we feel injustice when we are when, when we feel um betrayed hurt disappointed um backstab whatever it is in that line god knows how to avenge his people god is constantly fighting on your behalf god is fighting and waging battles that you do not know okay most of them you do not know god is fighting on your behalf i believe this with all of my heart because i've experienced god fighting okay in a place where you were like okay i didn't know this was happening god you know stood strong and god would always do that for his people let's go to psalm 81 verse 7 this is what it says Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. This is God talking. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Miriba, Silla. The secret place of thunder. There's so many secret places. As you go through the book of Psalm, you find out that like secret place, secret, secret, secret place. That keyword has been um, a fascination for me. It has been like an attraction when I caught hold of the secret place of thunder. That of course literally. Um, made me start you know writing down some prayers and i busted out literally in prayers because god knows how to answer our prayers so are you in trouble right now do you feel whatever is going on around you i want you to just you know just let's just pray over it i pray that god answers you in jesus name through um his word and that, that we have read right now he said he would answer you know from the secret place of thunder i pray that god will show up for you right now we know the power of the thunder we know how the thunder can um thunder can you know the power like it's not controllable it's not containable it's not like rainfall that like you can, can kind of collect the water or it's not like air that you can trap in a place the thunder cannot be you 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 do not know where the thunder is going to like when it's going to strike or um maybe the lightning that comes away you don't know where it's going to like where it's going to show up God knows how to show up in thunderous ways. The thunder is loud. The thunder makes a huge noise and it makes people literally afraid. God is going to answer you from the secret place of thunder. That means a lot to me. If you need to take some time and study all about thunders and lightnings and understand what it means for God to show up for you 
from the secret place of Tonda. It's huge. Okay. It's really huge. Um, God answers us when we call him. He is not deaf. He is not, he is not um, asleep. He doesn't go, go on breaks. God answers his people. So over and over, we see that, um, that reassurance from God's word. Uh, look at, look at, um, so when, when I was studying this and I, I read further, one thing came to my mind, because uh, I'm sure some people are going to wonder, how do we access this grace? So how do we, you know, draw near to God's presence? How do we tap into the secret place? Okay. Like that, sec- that how do we get into, you know, all of this? If you look at Psalm 81 verse nine, this is, this is like key. This brings everything together. Sometimes when we are, we're, we're like praying and um, we're seeking God for, we're seeking his help. We kind of seek his help, but with divided attention. You know, when the Bible says that um, a double standard, uh, double minded man cannot receive anything from God. He, it's like you're, you're asking God for something and then you have another hand like behind you. you you're not like asking with two hands and with a pure heart. You've got your heart distracted or you have other options or alternatives that you're considering. If that is you, then we need to talk. Okay, this is for you. This is 89 verse um, 9 says, There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shall thou worship any strange God. Now, when you come into the place of grace, when you are asking God for a miracle, whatever you're asking God for, or the relationship that you're craving for, you have to be sincere about it. I say that a lot of times, that you have to be sincere when you're coming to God. You have to be 100%. There's some things that are idols to us, as things that are God's, not necessarily the molded um, things that and charms and all of that. There are other gods that sit in our hearts that we need to re-examine. It could be your job. It could be um, your academics. It could be your children, your family. There are things, anything at all whatsoever that we elevate above God becomes a small God becomes a strange G-O-D. So we need to be mindful what we elevate, okay, what we take ahead. It could even be yourself. It could be self-pleasures uh, or comfort above your love for God. So whatever comes above God becomes a strange God in your life. So your worship, your love for God has to be 100%. All right? It has to be 100%. That's the encouragement that we're seeing. Um be rest assured. This is what my note says. Be rest assured. God will give you grace, you know, glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that um, that walk in his ways. So it's important that we walk in God's ways. If you look at Psalm 84 verse 11, that's what it says. It said, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. You know what that means? The sun is like it's blazing hot right now you know, like the sun, whenever you, you, you see the sun, you're like, oh my goodness, it's blazing hot, right? Um, a shield is for protection. The sun is for, is for light. You see clearly um, all of life is connected to the sun. So the sunlight is really important. So the sun can be equated to, to life itself because if there is no sun, then the plants won't come up, right? And God is a shield, very powerful. It goes on to say, the Lord will give grace and glory and no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. He's not going to hold back any good thing from you. You may be going through the trenches of life. It doesn't mean that God has left you. No, that does not. That, that, that is not true. Everybody, okay? Every person goes through that season of life. Now, the journey is lighter and easier because we have God. Because God helps us through um, life journey that is you know our life journey our individual life journey god helps us through so god will not be told any good thing from you right um like i said this made me you know write out a, a couple of prayers um if you look at psalm 80 verse verse 17 it talks about god's hand being upon us if you look at um psalm 85 um there's a prayer that i wrote there which has to do with revive me oh god you know, asking God for revival. If you're reading through um, these Psalms, I encourage you to write down some of the prayers that you, um, that you're, you're led to, you're led to pray. It will help you in your future Bible study. Okay. With that said, we have come to a wonderful course for today where I, I'm sure you've learned a few things. Kindly share this video, click like, and let somebody know um, what we're doing around here. If you're just joining in, like I always say, 
um, feel free to start from where you are. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Take care and do have yourself a lovely, lovely day.